Welcome back to Trucks and Junk. Today we're going to be switching stuff up. We're going to save this junkyard golf cart from the crusher. This is my son Oscar. What's up? I'm James. Let's get to it. So this is what we got going here. This is a, what I said, a junkyard golf cart. Used to be electric. Somebody tried to rig it up somehow with no electric anymore. The motor is all cut up and tore up. So obviously it's not gonna go back to electric. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it gas. But we're not gonna do it the normal way. We're gonna do it a different way. And I'm gonna explain how that is. We're gonna put a 125cc in it. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> All right, so we have determined that we're gonna do a 125cc engine in this thing. The main reasons we chose to do that is if we were to buy the regular 212 lawnmower engine that everybody throws in these things that makes them loud and obnoxious and vibrate a whole lot and really not even fun to drive but my like personal my opinion but <laughs> you know anyway if we were to do the Predator 212 from go power sports that has the electric start and everything that we need with the charging system to be able to run headlights and stuff we would be paying 279 dollars just for that engine and it don't even back up it just goes forward so then we would have to buy the ford reverse gearbox which will be another $139 from Amazon just to make it go backwards. And then you have to buy a torque converter for it because really they're not torqued enough to be able to pull something this large. So you, you have to use a torque converter because everything needs a torque converter. Weak mother trucker. So by the time you buy all of that to have electric start, you're looking at $497. And then if you say, okay, well, I can lift the seat, pull the cable, start this thing every time, and ditch the electric start, and ditch the charging system, so now you're ditching your lights, you don't have radio, you don't have none of that fun stuff for a golf cart, then you're looking at $337 because the motor's going to be 119 a Harbor Freight. But if we go with the 125cc, which also has three, feet, three speeds forward, and a reverse gear, and electric start, and the charging system, and everything that you're pretty much wanting right in the engine itself, it's only $379 on Amazon. And it comes with the wiring harness. So you don't have to wire nothing up other than your lights and stuff. It's a no-brainer, personally. So what we're gonna do, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned, we're gonna put that itty bitty little engine and this big old golf cart, and we're going to see if it pulls four people down the road like it should, with reverse and lights. Wow, so amazing! <laughs> All right, so this is the engine we're going to use today. 125cc, like we said, from Amazon. Cost me uh, $379 with shipping. Comes with the wiring harness, the coal. The rectifier for charging, the kill switch, the key switch. The only thing it doesn't come with, it did come with the carburetor, but it doesn't come with the exhaust. So you have to buy your own exhaust or get a used exhaust or something like that, but make your own exhaust. Mr. Trucks and Junk, how much does an exhaust cost for a 125cc engine? It ranges from $50 to $150 to Two hundred dollars just depends on how nice you want it because they can get pretty nice. And can I get a gold plate? Yes, you can get a gold plate. Well, let's go. But so we're not getting a gold plate. <laughs> we're getting a used one out of the junkyard because that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> you can also source these out of junkyards too. Like they're these things are pretty much on every single kid's four wheeler, pit bike, whatever. The only thing is, is you pretty much want to get one either off a four wheeler. Or a go kart. That way you have that reverse gear. Yeah. But especially if you're doing it in a golf cart. Now, if you're just building a go kart, you don't need this thing. You don't need reverse. Get something you know, more powerful. Get out and push it. You no, know, you're good. Get something more powerful. Or <laughs> do lawnmower engines, loud and obnoxious, and that's what those things are supposed to be. But a golf cart. If you take a golf and you don't want to be loud, 
you take it to a car show, you might want to be loud. But I want to annoy all the other YouTubers. But mostly, <laughs> we're going to be putting this thing in car shows, or not in car shows, but we're taking it to car shows and moving family around with it and maybe hooking a trailer to the back to move more family around with it, depending on how powerful it is. I want taking to it to swap right. meets and, you know, so we, we kind of wanted it a little bit quiet and not nerve-wracking when we drive it, so, and we want it to be reliable, too. That's another thing. The, in torque converters, they're reliable to an extent, but when you put them under a lot of load, like four people, all in a trailer, stuff like that, the belts burn out pretty quick. So they're not really that reliable. Whereas these things, they hold up pretty good. I mean, honestly. The, the biggest downfall of these things are the wiring harnesses, and there's not much to this one. So if anything, I might make my own, but for now we'll use what they gave us and roll with it. So that's the engine side of things. Okay, now here's the other issue that we're going to run into. This rear end is set up kind of like a car, which is not normal for a golf cart. Normally, it's got the plate here on the side that you could hook a sprocket to to hook the engine to because the motors normally mount sideways on the rear end. But for some reason, this one's got one that's set up like a car and comes out the front. And I really don't... I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna mess with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off the golf cart all together and I'm gonna put a live axle in here to make things simpler on us and the simpler things are the less things go wrong so we're just gonna put a live axle in here I'm gonna have to build a frame to mount the live axle to I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use the original leaf springs off the golf cart or if I'm going to use these cool over shocks that I've got and just make its own rear suspension. I haven't decided 100% on that yet, but I think we'll figure that out pretty soon once we start cutting into this thing and figuring out how we're gonna do the rear end. And then we're gonna get rid of all this junk that's not even hooked up anyway, get it out of here. Yep. And then, yeah, using that's gonna be the first step. All right, let's get this stuff out of here, bro. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, baby. It's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape find get one that don't want to come out here here's a good learning experience for everybody so when you get a nut or a boat stuck in your socket that you can't get out what you're going to want is you're going to take it off the tool you're going to take it off the tool you're going to set it on the concrete and you're going to take your bfh and you're going to tap on it and it should come out. And then if it still doesn't, then you can just put it back on the low nut and wiggle a little bit and it comes out. And then it's off. I love the chip. All right, next we're gonna to wanna to remove these okay. to drop this down. Seventeen. I'm a little man in an old guy's body. Let's see if I can rig this up somewhere. Uh, what side? Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the rear end bolts. U bolts. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mine over everything. <laughs> When I feel like this, I'm 
Push me back first. Then pull back right. Now, once you remove the brake cables, the shock bolts, and the leaf spring bolts, you should be able to let that jack down slowly, and this will come down with it. Bubba, I said slowly, bub. <laughs> Jeez. All right, come down a little slower this time. Ay, ay, ay. Your kid may kill you. Just... We're letting you know. If you use your kid for help, they may kill you. One day. Totally is it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Now that that's out of the way, now we can cut all this junk out of the way. And then start making us a frame for our live axle to go on. Next we're going to cut all this metal in here out. And we're not going to need because we're not going to be holding a thousand batteries anymore. Yeah. And so we're going to be holding a thousand pounds. <laughs> Alright, now that we've cut all of this out, we've dropped the rear end, and we're probably going to remove these leaf springs here, get rid of them, that one there, and that one there, and then we're going to build a square frame that comes out and around here, and then comes in, and then ties in to right here, in the center of here. And that way we have something to mount our engine to and something to mount our axle to. So that's our next steps. Okay guys, that concludes part one of the build. Part two, we're going to be building the frame to be able to support the live axle and the engine and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So you're gonna to wanna to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button and just roll with it. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.